What do you need to host a quiz? You need internet connection, a desktop, laptop, tablet or mobile phone. You need to have Zoom installed in order to live share the quiz and you need to sign up for Kahoot. So what do players need to join the quiz? They need internet connection, a desktop, laptop and a tablet or mobile phone. They need Zoom installed in order to see the quiz and they need to download the Kahoot app to all participant phones. It is important to note that players can play through the Kahoot website without having to download the app. The ideal way to play, however, would be for players to have a screen either open on a laptop or to screen share to a TV and then play the game through the mobile phone app. This will make it easier for players to see the questions on the screen and then answer them through the mobile phone app without having to swap screens. This would be particularly useful if you have a few players in the one house. For Kahoot, go to kahoot.com. That's K A H O O T.com. On the top right hand corner, you will see a green sign up button. Be asked to choose your account type. In this case, we are going to choose personal. You will be asked to enter your date of birth. It's important to note that in order to create an account or host a Kahoot, for those of us living outside the US, you must be 16. For those living within the US, you have to be 13. Next, you need to create a username for your account and click continue. Enter your email address and create a password for your account and click sign up. Next, you will see the account plans. If you scroll down the page, you will see what's included with each. It's important to note that the free plan allows up to 10 people per game. For the purpose of this video, we're going to select the free Get Basic account. You will be brought through to your Kahoot homepage dashboard. On the top left, you can change your name, upgrade your current plan, create teams and add interest categories. On the top right, you can click Create to create your own Kahoot quiz. You can choose from the two templates or create your own Kahoot from scratch. If you decide to reuse an existing quiz, Click on Discover at the top of the page. You'll be able to browse some popular quizzes. Or use the search function at the top of the page to search for things like movie trivia. When you select the Kahoot you want to use, on the left hand side you'll have an option to play straight away. However, if you're going to have a quiz night at a later stage, you can click on the star icon and add this Kahoot to your favourites. Now that you have your quiz picked, you need to schedule your Zoom call. Open Zoom and sign in, go to the homepage screen and schedule your meeting for the night of your quiz and send out your invitations. You might also want to remind participants to download the Kahoot app to their phones. So on the night of your quiz, you will need to log into Kahoot and go to Kahoot's in the navigation bar on the top. If you've created your own Kahoot, you will see it in the middle of the screen. If you're using an existing Kahoot, like we did for the purpose of this training, Go to the favourites on the left hand side and your save Kahoot will appear in the middle of the screen. Click on the play button. Choose which way you would like to play Kahoot. For this example we're going to select host as we want to play a live game with others. Scroll down to the game options. If they're not visible click on the little arrow to expand the screen. Lobby music. This allows you to select what music is played as you wait for the game to start and for everyone to sign in. Friendly nickname generator, as the label suggests, generate nicknames for each of the players. Players hit spin on their devices to generate a name and they have an option to spin up to three times. Randomize order of questions and randomize order of answers. This does exactly that, it randomizes the order in which they appear. Show minimized intro instructions just minimizes the size of the instruction details on the screen, so there's no need to scroll in to order to see all the players' names as they join the quiz. Under advanced you will have the option to turn on the following. Two step join. Turn this on to ensure the people who can see your pin can join in your game. After entering your pin players must also click or tap four buttons in the pattern shown on the screen. Automatically move through questions. The game will auto start if at least one player has joined and 15 seconds has elapsed without another player joining. Results and leaderboard screens each will display for five seconds. Rejoin after every game. Once the game is over, it will restart or play the next game in your playlist. 
Players will not need to rejoin unless you've toggled on to rejoin after every game. After you've selected your game options, scroll back up to the top to choose between Classic or Team Mode. Classic Mode is if you want every player to use their own device. Team Mode is if you want players to form teams and use one device per team. As we're using the free or basic account, we are limited to the number of participants. So if you have 10 or less, you can click on Classic. However, if you have more participants and some of them are in the same location, they can team up together. So then you would select Team Mode. Once you select your game option, you will see the following screen. You then need to go to your Zoom call and share your screen with all participants for them to see the pin. When in Zoom, click on the screen share in the bottom navigation pane. If you cannot see this, hover over the bottom of the screen and it will appear. When you click screen share, it will bring up all screens open on your laptop. Simply select the Kahoot screen and click share on the bottom right. Anyone who joins your scheduled Zoom meeting will see this screen. They can then go to their own devices and open up the Kahoot app. When they open the app on their phone, they will see an enter pin icon on the bottom of the screen. They click on this, enter the game pin on the screen and click enter. If you previously selected two step join, players will be asked to match the pattern on their phone as it appears in the host screen. Once they do that, they are in. When you the host start the quiz and share via Zoom, Players can follow the quiz on their laptop screen, but answer via the mobile device using the pattern keys. A scoreboard follows every question, just to make things a little bit more competitive. The list of players will all appear here in terms of ranking. The quicker the player is to answer correctly, the more points they will receive. The scoreboard will appear after every question answered. And it's as simple as that. That's how you host a quiz using Kahoot and Zoom. So just to recap what you need to host a quiz, you need internet connection, ideally a desktop or laptop, but alternatively a tablet or mobile phone. You need to have Zoom installed and you need to have a Kahoot account. What participants or players need to join a quiz? They need internet connection, a desktop or laptop and a mobile device, Zoom installed in order to actually see the quiz and they need to download the Kahoot app onto their mobile device. As mentioned previously, players can play through the Kahoot website without having to download the app. However, the ideal way to play would be for players to have a screen open, either on a laptop or on a screen share to the TV. Then play the game through the mobile phone app. This will make it easier for players to see the questions, but also answer individually on their mobile devices. This will also add a little bit of competitiveness.